guys welcome back to my channel so I was up really early this morning went to the doctor it's not strep throat um, just a sore throat that's just taking its time I'm still drinking tea I'm still taking medicine they said there's really not much I can do I just have to wait it out um, and then the, he looked at the kids and he said that they have the same thing they don't have the same thing as me but they're just their runny noses are just taking forever because they're kids and they don't know how to blow their nose. You know, they suck in instead of blow out. So we're all good. We're getting better. Just got to keep pumping the meds and drinking tea and hope that this goes away. So I have a huge Dollar Tree haul. I went this morning again. I have a problem. Um, found some new stuff. Haven't found any wishlist items well actually that's not true last night I didn't find any wishlist items this morning I found two so I'm super excited if you saw my thumbnail you saw I held or I got this I love the galvanized hearts I'm leaving this exactly how it is I'm not doing anything to this so I was standing there last night could not decide for the life of me which one I wanted so I just grabbed two and I was like let's get out of here like me and my husband were both hungry. We still had to go to the grocery store after Dollar Tree and we had just got into Dollar Tree and I was like, we're gonna be in here forever. So I just grabbed both. I might put one on my front door, one on my back door. I don't know exactly where I'm putting these yet because I need to pull, pull everything out and see what I'm doing. Probably not gonna put one on my front because I think I'm putting a wreath that heart form. I really wanna make a wreath out of that and put that on my front door. But I can always, my hand is stuck, I can always take this off and put it in the middle or do something. So I just couldn't decide which one I wanted and I got both. Sticking with Valentine's Day stuff. Um, I was watching Keto Twisted Gypsy last night, I believe. I caught up on a few videos of yours. Like I said, if you have your husband wearing a clown mask, I'm sorry, I won't watch it. I'm terrified of clowns. Nothing against you. I love you, girl. I love your channel. I just, I can't. Like, and I saw the movie It, and it was really hard for me to watch that. And I want to see the second one, and I'm just terrified of clowns. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But anyways, um, so I was catching up on some of your videos. I saw you haul that one, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta find it. And then I saw you haul some other stuff. I saw you haul this and I just immediately thought of my sister, but I think I want to keep this for myself. I actually don't have any any notebooks as much as I used to. Um, I was putting a lot in giveaways and a lot in friend mail, just trying to condense my stockpile. And my DT is slacking in the notebook section. Like everybody's been hauling all these great ones and we haven't gotten any or list pads. But I love this one. I think it's so cute. And it's just perfect to keep out during Valentine's Day. It's super cute. I love it. So I got that. My daughter wanted this and I was just, okay, this is going to sound bad, but I was trying to ignore her in the store because she says mommy 20 million times because she has to show me everything. And even if it's not even something that great, like she still has to show it to me. And I'm just like, kid, you are too much. So I just told her, yeah, that was fine. Didn't look at the box, didn't even know what it was. And it's tattoo lollipops, tattoo your tongue. Um, they're gluten free, the pop, the lollipops, and there's 12 cards and pops. So I didn't realize that this had Valentine's Day cards inside. I thought it was just the lollipops by itself. Cause obviously I told you I wasn't paying attention to her. I didn't look at the box. I just saw Anna and Nelson, I told her, yeah. So that's okay, she's gonna have extra Valentine's Day cards now, plus that Moana box and then the Paw Patrol one. So I told you guys I wasn't doing Valentine's Day cards this year. That, that was a lie. Scratch that, I never said that, okay? I'm doing Valentine's Day cards. I found a lot that I wanna give out to people. You don't have to send me one back if you don't want to. If you wanna send me one, that's awesome. I'll send you one and back. Just how we did for Halloween and Christmas. I really enjoyed it. I love it. Um, if you don't want to receive a kid Valentine's Day card, then you need to specify because my kiddos are going to have a ton of leftovers. So 
for like my bestie and a few other really close people I'm giving them an actual Valentine's Day card and then throwing two of these in there with it as a like happy Valentine's Day from my kids to you as well so they're gonna have a ton left over so if you don't want a kitty one and you just want like a plain regular one then you need to specify otherwise you're probably just gonna get one like this and if you don't care then okay but if you care then you need to let me know because like I said, I'm gonna have a ton of these, so I'd rather give these out than go and buy a whole bunch of Valentine's Day cards, if you get what I'm saying. So, picked up, she picked up that. I picked up some Valentine's Day cards, and I need to go get more. I was trying to get them all while I was there, but my husband was really hungry, like I said, and I just didn't wanna keep him waiting, so I'm gonna have to go back without him and get a whole bunch. I got his, cause he wasn't in the aisle with me, so I got one for him. And then I got three for some friends. Not sure who these are going to yet, but I just wanted to grab them because they were two for a dollar. This one has cute little cupcakes on it. And then there's this one. So if you want a card like this and not like this, then let me know. If you don't care, you're probably gonna get one of those. Which I don't need, I just realized I'm not gonna be able to send that in a envelope. So I'll probably have to get you one of these and then I'll just add that. That's probably what I'm gonna do. So. You'll get one of, a regular one from me, and then you'll get one from the kids. So, got those. Found these stickers. I didn't realize that they, I didn't see these ones the last time. So some of them have googly eyes, and then some of them look like they do, but if you look really close, that's actually like printed on the sticker. It's not a googly eye, but this one is. It's puffed out. So, some of them have them, some of them look like they do. But I just thought these were super cute. I love that little gumball machine. That is so adorable. You get 20 in there. So I thought those would be cute to put on the envelopes and stuff like that. This one, of course, I had to pick up because it has watermelon slices. There's popsicles, there's tacos, there's cats, french fries, cactuses, um, a mermaid, there's a flamingo. I just thought these were cute too. These don't really look Valentine-y. Um, you get 35 in there. Picked up these cute earrings for my daughter not just to wear for Valentine's Day, but I thought these were really pretty hearts, so I got those for her. And then I went ahead and got a bag for my hubby. I don't know if we're doing gifts for each other. I know what I wanna get him, and if we decide not to get each other gifts, like just do a card and go out to dinner, then I will, that gift that I wanna get him, I will do that for his birthday. So, cause it'll work for both. Um, and then I can just save the bag for next year or I can always frame that because it's really pretty. And I love the side. Black with white hearts. I thought this was more manly than like a pink one with like flowers and glitter because he hates glitter. So this heart is shiny and then on this side it's not. So got that. Um, last Valentine's Day thing was candy. I also saw Keto Twisted Gypsy haul this and I was like, I need to find those. I really hope I can. And I did. They're white peanut butter hearts, white chocolatey shell filled with creamy homestyle peanut butter. And you already know, you've seen me haul Reese's a ton of times. We love white chocolate, especially white with peanut butter, like the white Reese's. Those are our favorites. So I have a huge little, um, a huge little, wow a huge candy dish and it has hearts on it. It's super cute. Um, I got it at Keto Twisted Gypsy Sherry. You said you don't have a candy dish. Check Walmart. They were 88 cents and they're huge and they're really cute and they had hearts on them. So I just dump um, wrapper candy in there and then I use my mason jars for candy that, you know, like jelly beans and conversation hearts. So picked up two of those cause you don't get a lot in one bag. Um, I think that's it for Valentine's Day stuff. I think I'm set. <coughs> Sorry. This Dollar Tree that I went to this morning <clears throat> is where I found a wishlist item. I love this. I think I want to paint it, but then at the same time I don't. So I really don't know if I'm going to or not. You don't have to just use this for Valentine's Day. You can leave this year round. It's super cute. I love how the L and the V are rised. They had the one that said family. Now I was gonna buy that one and paint it because I am not a Seahawks fan. No, no, no. 
we are Packers in this house. I was just gonna paint it, you know, like a neutral white farmhouse kind of feel or gray or something to keep up year round. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I know I wanted it and I might use this on a Valentine's Day wreath. I think I'm gonna put this in the middle of it instead of it saying welcome on my heart one. I think that'll look really, really cute. If I don't, then I'll use it for decor because it doesn't come with a strand, like a string. I mean, I can always hot glue a piece of Jew twine. Um, I really don't know. And then I went ahead and picked up this one that says home. This one I am going to paint because this does not match. Like that is just so weird. I don't like that. I don't like the colors. The baby blue is pretty. This one either like do this or this. Like it's like they couldn't decide what to do. So this one I am going to paint. I'm not sure what color yet. This one I'll probably do white and gray or something like that. Um, so picked up those. Was super excited to finally find those. Those have been on my wish list for a long time now too. Um, only picked up one Easter thing and it was this ribbon. And it kind of looks like burlap. Yeah. So it's burlap and it's baby blue. It's just something different that I don't have. So I just wanted to grab it because you get three yards. Normally you only get nine feet. So I thought this was huge and really nice. And if I ever need a baby blue ribbon, I mean, I can use this for Easter on my tumblers or I can make a bow or you just never know. So I just picked it up. And then I picked up four more of these. This is what I went for this morning because I'm gonna make a wreath for my front door a little tiny one, the ones that I always make. I just made one on, I posted it on my Instagram. I use succ succulents instead of flowers and I love, love, love the way it came out. It looks so cute. That one I'm leaving year round. Um, I'll just move it during uh, Halloween and Christmas cause I won't have enough wall space, but I can always stick that like in my bedroom or on a different wall in the living room or something. But I picked up four more of these because this is the ribbon that I use and I love it. I think it's so pretty. I don't like using the plain burlap. It looks really weird. So I love this one and I'm all out. So I needed this. I grabbed four. I can usually use one for a whole small wreath. I'll probably need two for a bigger one. <coughs> My hubby got some flowers. <clears throat> the grow kit. This one's a sunflower. And he got the strawberries. He said he doesn't, sorry, I was getting a phone call. Um, he said he doesn't believe this is gonna work. So that's why he grabbed it. Cause he wants to see if it'll work. So he's gonna do those once it starts to the right time. It's not the right time right now to do that. Um, he picked up these, not sure for what. He really liked the way they smell. It's a fragrance sachet or satch. I do not know how to say that. Um, it says use for fragrance in bathrooms, trash cans, your car, you can put it under your seat, vacuum bags, closets, and gift baskets. Um, this one is Cran Cherries. They spelled that weird though. Cran Cherries? I don't know. You get two though, and he picked up two. They smell so good. I think I'm going to put one in my car because my vent clip is all out and it doesn't smell like black ice anymore and I should have stocked up on those when they had them because those were so so nice and I cannot find them anymore. I think I have one on top of my fridge on the patio. That's where we put stuff like this. So he picked up two of those. I'm sure he's going to put one in his truck. Um, <clears throat> both stores had all the Bolero stuff out now for every scent. I picked up the hand wash of the strawberry pineapple. Um, I still have one like this. That's the vanilla sugar, whatever. I am taking a really long time to condense my soap stockpile. So I didn't want to go crazy because I was going to get like two of these and I was going to get one in the black tea with leech and or leech, well, however you say, I call it leech, leech, I don't know. Um, I was going to get one of those two and I was like, no, I have so much soap. So I just picked up one. I absolutely love this scent. I don't smell pineapple. Other people say they can smell it. I smell the strawberry. So does my hubby. So I'm all for it. I loved the makeup wipes. They work great. So I also picked up the makeup wipes in the, or the facial wipes. This is the soothing with collagen, um, improved skin tone, boost radiance, fruit enzymes. And this is the black tea with leech. So I picked up one of those. They also had the agave or something in 
something. It was green. It was a weird word and like Jenison. It was weird. And then, don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. I said it in the other video when I hauled the bath bombs. I said it right that time. Well, part of it. And they have the coconut and rose hip. So I got one of those. And then I found this, and I've never done one of these before. So it's a brightening hair mask, strawberry pineapple, um, fruit enzymes, boost, boost radiance, improve control. And then on the top it said, did you know, strawberries protect your hair from damaging elements and pineapple provides additional vitamins. So I'm gonna give that a try. I might save this if I decide to not use it and I still have that eye cream. I can always put that together as like a little gift basket for Mother's Day for my mother-in-law or something if I decide to not use it myself. <coughs> I also picked up this plain white soap dispenser for my kitchen sink because I have one like this not this huge it's a smaller one it's uh the watermelon the dial one I have that one out right now um I don't like the bottle just sitting there I think this looks nicer even though this is for a bathroom I kind of want to write soap on there or something kind of like in Ray Dunn font but I don't know if I'll be able to and it might come off but this one has a little chunk of paint that I want to sand off. It's bugging me. Um, I actually want a different sand hand soap pump for my kitchen sink, but I just haven't had the time to do it. And I don't have the pump part. I just have the other part of it. So I just picked up this for my kitchen sink. I thought it would look so much better than just having a, you know, a little jug of soap there. It'll look so much nicer. And a lot of my kitchen stuff is white anyways, so it'll go with it. Picked up another one of these the Ajax with vinegar and lime because when I used the pomegranate from Pomolive one, I loved that one. If you guys see it, pick it up, pick up a bunch. I love that soap. I can't find it anywhere now at any Dollar Tree anymore. Um, I threw this away when it was empty and I was like, oh, I forgot I was supposed to save that because I just dumped the green apple one in this when it's all gone. It doesn't do anything. It's just a perfect size to pull this out to do my dishes rather than a giant one. So I picked up one of those. Got some repurchases here. Got two of the good and clean disinfectant wipes. The lemon scented. I need one for my bathroom and one for my kitchen. So I had to get some more of those. <clears throat> I had to get another Lime Away toilet cleaner because my bathroom is out and my kiddos, I just opened a new one in theirs and I don't like taking stuff to each bathroom. I'd rather just have cleaning stuff in that one, cleaning stuff in mine. It's so much easier. Hubby picked up two of these. He has one under the sink. He didn't even realize that. So I need to tell him to not buy any more body wash. Um, I was like, why don't you pick up the men's scented one? And he's like, cause the girl one smells better. So he likes this one and it's the cherry blossom. So he picked up two more, even though he has one. And he says, I'm bad at stuff like that. <coughs> picked up a box of the two extra large bags. I have my Halloween pillows in a trash bag. I have my Christmas wreaths that I made in a trash bag. So I wanna put them in here and see if it'll just keep them, per, you know, better protected than a trash bag will. So I got one of those. If they work and they fit, I will go back and pick up some more. So that way I can have my Valentine's Day stuff in one once it's over. Cause Easter, Valentine's Day, St. Patty's Day, and 4th of July, I don't have a ton of stuff. So I usually just keep that stuff in a bag and I would rather use these. So I might have to go back and pick up more. <clears throat> My daughter picked up two books this morning and she picked up Writer's Robot Rescue and it has Sky on it. And this one is Fire Truck Pup and it has Marshall. So she picked up two more books. We went through her books, condensed it. So she's, she loves her Paw Patrol, you know. Speaking of Paw Patrol, I love keeping these in my diaper bag for when I have an appointment. We're at a restaurant somewhere, even if we're stuck in the car in traffic or something, it's something for her to do. So it's one of those little grab uh, play packs. You get four crayons, one sticker sheet, and a 24 coloring page book. Saw my bestie haul one of these, and I saw Triple G's get some in some friend mail. And I like this peachy pinkish color, and it says love. Don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I just wanted to grab it. They had gray and like a teal blue. So I got this one. It's probably going to go in my closet and I'll just... My closet is so nice. It's I haven't messed it up. I've kept it organized. So I grabbed an extra one just in case I find more stuff I need to put away. Or you just never know. So I grabbed one of those. 
<coughs> I got some more fairy garden stuff. Now, I have a fairy garden that I keep in a bucket um, by my couch, and I leave that year-round. I, I usually move it, so I'll, like, put it away in a cupboard when it's Christmas and Halloween, but then after that, I leave it out. Um, so this is going to go in there for additional stuff. I loved this little um, water well thing, and there's a little bird. And these, I don't know if I'm going to use them in that fairy garden or keep them aside but I loved these I thought they were super cute they are flat on the back I didn't realize that I thought they were like a full one so I got those for my normal fairy garden that I have and then I picked up some more for my sweets one picked up this one because I don't have it it looks similar to the other one and then this one and these I'll have to spray with glitter because there's glitter all over my island and I picked up the little frosted bridge because I didn't have it. So I think I'm done with the sweets. And like I said, I'm going to decorate either back here or do my tray. Found some new candles. Still on the hunt for that ombre looking one in that really cool jar. I want like four of the Maui melon because they look like watermelons. And it'll go with my watermelon theme in my house. I'm... Just hoping that we will get them. None of these Dollar Trees had them, and so I'm just, I'm, I'm holding out. I really hope they get them, because I, that's the only one I want. I don't want to go crazy. I just want, I either want two or four, so that way I can use them for my decor when I decorate in the summer with my watermelon stuff. This one, I don't know if this is new. I don't remember seeing anybody haul this, but I could be wrong. It's Old Williamsburg, and it's Berry Crumble, and it smells so good. Ugh. It smells amazing. I had to get it. And I didn't want to go crazy because I still, I'm trying to burn through a lot of my candles. Every day I burn my candle in my bathroom and I try and do another one right after that. Because I want to do an empties video on candles for you guys. So I'm trying to do a lot of the older ones instead of the newer ones. Even though it's hard because I want to burn the ones in the, the little barrels. And I think I'm going to do those next because I want to know if they have a good throw or not. So if I can pick up more. So these kind of look... If you remember, we hauled these a while ago, and there's a pale rose pink one. Well, now this is a different scent. They have new ones. And they also had a purple, and it was lavender, so I didn't grab it. The white one is salted butter toffee. Oh my god. It smells like Christmas. <laughs> or like winter. And then white mocha. Oh my god, that one's my favorite. And Earl Grey, which is my favorite tea. Uh, and I just think these jars are really, really pretty. So, got some new candles, was super excited about that. They had a ton of new ones too. If you remember those short ones, kind of looked like this, the glass was see-through. They were just... Sorry, my son's trying to sit at her table and he can't. If you remember, they had some like this, the glass was see-through, but they were short and they were fat, and there was like four of them, and I hauled all of them, I think. They had new ones like that, and there was like a bright green, there was a reddish orange, there was a yellow. I didn't like any of the scents. The yellow was like citrus something, then there was like something verbena, and I didn't like any of them, so I didn't get them. But they, the jars were really pretty. I almost did just for the jars, but I'm like, if I'm not gonna like the scent, there's no point in getting a candle that I'm not gonna burn, so. I picked up this donut scarf for a DIY has donuts on it and there was no tag so he had to scan something else the rest of this is food and a couple of other things I picked up some pizza it's in my freezer buried because we went grocery shopping so can't show you I just picked up two more of the microwave pizzas they were actually pretty good you guys I didn't have high hopes for them I made one for my daughter the other night and she almost ate the whole thing she left two tiny slices so I tried a piece and my hubby tried a piece. And we were like, oh, that was actually pretty good. For a Dollar Tree pizza, they're pretty good. Um, so I picked up two more of the combination ones. Found this huge snack sack of golden Oreos and they're mini. I love golden Oreos. I actually prefer them over the regular Oreos. I know, people are gonna judge me on that, but to each their own. I picked up the Milky Way Salted Caramel. 
and the Twix cookies and cream because I was getting Jan, hey hun, getting your package together. I can't send it out till next week because I have a surprise. Super excited. So I was in the middle of getting it all together and I thought of something that I wanna do for you. I'm making something for you. So just hold off one more week and it'll be worth it for you. So I didn't have these when you had asked me to pick up some of these for you. I didn't have enough on the side from what I had for myself. So I just gave you mine and I was like, oh, I'll just pick up some more. So picked up more for me. I don't know if you'll like this. Give it a try. I like it. It's not an overpowering cookies and cream. You still get your normal Twix, but it's really good. I like this better than a regular Twix. And then this tastes kind of just like a Milky Way. It's not any different, but maybe to you it'll be different. It's good though. So I picked up two of those. Hubby picked up some candy, Sour Patch, Sour Straws. And then while I went to this morning, I picked him up one of these because I think he's all out. Got some Lunchables for my kiddo. Got four more of the ham. She doesn't like the turkey, I just found out. So no more turkey for her. She'll eat a turkey sandwich, but she won't eat a turkey Lunchable. Yeah, she's my kid. <coughs> Picked up these really pretty roses. Um, I'm making a wreath, like I said. I already have the wreath form. Now I have the ribbon. I still have a ton of those welcome signs because I stocked up. I saw on Instagram that they have a Valentine's Day one. Theoni, keep your eye out. They have a three pack of the metal words. Um, if you find them, get one for me because none of mine have them and I don't know if they're going to. One says love, one says XOXO, and I don't know what the other one says. I saw it on Instagram though. Um, and I was like, what? So I'm on the hunt for those. And I know you like to change your centerpiece. So maybe your DT will have them. I just found out. So I picked up these roses. I thought they were really pretty. I thought they would stand out on my front door. So I think that's what I'm going to use these for. Maybe not. Maybe I'll use my lilies or maybe I'll use the roses that are in my love box. So picked up those just to have for my wreath because I want to do one for my front door because I have one on my back door, have one on my wall, and I don't have one on my front door and it's bugging me now. And I used to be okay with nothing on my front door. I also picked up these just because I thought they were really, really pretty. They're blooming branches and it's like a pinkish light purple color and I can always take these and put them in there, interchange them. They look kind of like Eastery colors. So I loved those, got those. We never smoked a ham when we were supposed to. So we're going to smoke a ham on Sunday, take it over to the in-laws, have that for dinner. And we're going to smoke meatloaf tomorrow. My husband's fat kid meatloaf. That's what he calls it. Because it literally is. You know how most meatloafs you wrap bacon around it? Yeah, this one you chop up bacon and put it in the meatloaf. Oh my god. So he picked up four of these bread pans. Because he'll make five or four of these. Either four or five. Because we have one in our drawer. So he picked up four more to make. Because it's a big batch of meatloaf. And it's not like you can just make one giant one. We have to make a bunch of little ones because it won't fit in our smoker. And he like, it's easier to just give a pan to his coworker, to his mom and dad, to his other coworker, and then one for us. And then he picked up two of these for the ham to smoke. And he picked up two because he said he doesn't trust one of them because they're not very sturdy. So he'll just double it and that way it'll hold the ham in there when he smokes it. And that is it for my huge Dollar Tree haul, you guys. I'm sorry I was rambling. Um, like I said, if you want to do the Valentine's Day cards exchange, I'm down. I'm game. I have some that I'm just sending out to people. So if you don't want to do it, you don't have to send me one just because I sent you one. Um, I have my usual handful of people from YouTube that I'm going to send them to. And then I have extra. So if you want one, let me know and I'll send you one. And we can do that. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.